Spider-Man 2 was the fastest selling PlayStation exclusive of all time. Sony's still riding uh, high on the critical praise and massive boost in sales generated by Insomniac Games and their awesome Marvel Universe. But the next entry in the series, it's not going to star Peter Parker or Miles Morales, but rather Wolverine himself and his own solo adventure. It's been a long time since there was a big budget solo uh, Wolvie game. And with how much Insomniac has been absolutely crushing, it wouldn't be shocking at all that their game starring Logan is probably the most anticipated upcoming game in PlayStation's library. Today, we're going to go over all the latest news and leaks regarding the future of Insomniac's Marvel Universe, including some new updates on Wolverine and potential confirmation of another superhero game that's in the not so distant future. Just give Insomniac the keys to the, the superhero Ferrari, right? Let me know what you think about them becoming the new face of Marvel video games. Drop a like and uh, the biggest news is what we'll start with. And that's in regards to Wolvie. It happened in mid-September. You may have heard about it, but here's a quick recap in case you didn't. Insomniac Games have confirmed that Wolverine is officially in active development, meaning the team that was working on Spider-Man 2 are now full-time on this game. Now, up to this point, it was being worked on by a smaller team within the company. From the sound of it, it was basically just being written, storyboarded, and brainstormed as opposed to uh, there being a lot of actual programming being done. But Insomniac made it official on September 13th that active development on this game was underway, and depending on the size of the game and how much work had already been done, this game could actually be closer than we think. The game was revealed in September of 2021, the same day as Spider-Man 2, but it's been over two years with no new trailer, no new promotional material. Now, this was obviously a conscious decision to make sure nothing took away spotlight, or spotlight from Spider-Man 2, but now that that Spider-Man 2 is in our rear view, I don't think we're going to wait much longer at all to get some kind of update on Wolverine. We'll talk about that more in the video. You may have recently heard that another Marvel superhero is confirmed to exist in Insomniac Spider-Man universe. That would be none other than the Devil of Hell's Kitchen. Several references to Matthew Murdock's Daredevil have been discovered in Spider-Man 2. There's even rumors floating around about a potential Daredevil DLC being announced in the near future. Right now, Spider-Man 2 doesn't have any confirmed story expansions, but since the first game had some, I would not be shocked at all if they announce it either later this year or at Sony's first PlayStation showcase of 2024. The point is, Daredevil is confirmed to exist in the Insomniac Marvel Universe, which is massive news for the future of the series and could very potentially lead to a Daredevil solo game. Would you buy it? Here's a little side note. Did you guys know there was actually a big budget Daredevil game in development a while back, but it was canceled before it was ever released, despite being very close to completion? It was called Daredevil The Man Without Fear. It was being worked on on the PlayStation 2 by 5,000 Foot Studios and was set to be published by Encore Intercorporated. They even released a couple magazine adverts for it, claiming it would launch in 2004, but it never happened. Interestingly... Just a couple weeks ago, a playable build of that game actually leaked online. It allowed Daredevil fans to try it themselves. It was reportedly canceled due to disagreements between Sony, who wanted the game to have a very specific style, and Marvel, who wanted the game to be closer to the 2003 Daredevil movie. So, if Insomniac is truly working on a Daredevil game for the PS5 or the PS6, it would actually be the second time Sony has tried to deliver a Daredevil game and get it off the ground. The more you know, right? With that being said, I think the existence of a Daredevil game kind of hinges on whether or not the Wolverine game does well. According to insider reports, Insomniac's Wolverine game is going to be rated M for Mature. It's going to have a ton of graphic violence, which I think it should. Obviously, fans are probably excited to see him in all his bloody glory, but everyone knows that when you rate a superhero game M for Mature, you have to expect to sell less copies than a T-rated superhero game. Similar to how R-rated superhero movies always anticipate lower box office numbers than superhero movies rated PG-13. A lot of the money generated by superhero movies and games comes from the parents. They cover the cost for their kid. And obviously, when you rate a movie R or a game M, less parents are going to pay the money for their kid to experience it. Now, Daredevil, as many of you know, is also a very R-rated character. And if Insomniac were going to do a video game adaptation of him, they would probably want to do him justice, meaning another M-rated game. But Sony is the one paying the bills, and they probably recognize the risk involved with making M-rated games based on superheroes. You and me would love it, but it comes down to the bottom do dollar. So, if you look at the situation from their perspective, they may see Wolverine as a test for whether or not M-rated first-party Marvel games are a worthwhile investment. If Wolverine does well financially, they'll probably greenlight a Daredevil game rather quickly. But if it, for some reason, underperforms, 
will probably be more hesitant to give Insomniac the money to make a Daredevil game. We could switch over to the movies too. I mean, Deadpool is going to be the first R-rated MCU movie. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to crush. So with the number of Daredevil game rumors floating around, some have suggested he's actually going to show up in the Wolverine game, but I don't know if I agree. We don't know where this game is going to take place, but it's almost certainly not going to be in Hell's Kitchen. And Daredevil really isn't the kind of character to go globetrotting. Spider-Man games take place in New York. Makes total sense for Daredevil to be hanging out nearby, but I have a feeling Wolverine is going to take us somewhere totally new. There might be a Daredevil Easter egg here or there, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so shocked, but I wouldn't expect him to make an actual appearance. Rather, I'm expecting Daredevil to show up in either a Spider-Man 2 DLC or in Spider-Man 3, so that way his game can come right after. Insomniac has been establishing this pattern of releasing smaller Marvel games in between main Spider-Man installments. Spider-Man Miles Morales dropped in between the first two main Spidey games. Wolverine's going to drop in between Spider-Man 2 and 3. We know Spidey 3 is entering production in the near future, assuming production hasn't already, be had, had, hasn't already begun. It probably has. But if I had to guess, I would say Daredevil's game is only to interactive development after Wolverine is released to the public and proves that M-rated Marvel games can make money. That would mean Daredevil will likely be Insomniac's next Marvel game after Spider-Man 3. So assuming Sony signs off on it, we'll probably be waiting a little while to play it. Spider-Man 3 is probably three or four years away. So I wouldn't be shocked at all if Daredevil ends up being released on the PlayStation 6 either as a cross-gen game or a PS6 exclusive. There's actually a lot riding on this adamantium clawed heroes game. Not only will it be a total change of pace for Insomniac games because of the M rating is smaller scale than their other superhero games, but it's also going to be possibly the deciding factor whether or not we get other games like Daredevil. I'm pretty confident that this game will do well, and I'm sure Insomniac are going to do great things with the character, but we're probably going to be waiting another year or two to play it. It was revealed the same day as Spider-Man 2, but insider reports have claimed it was very early in development at that point. Now, granted, it's also a much smaller scale game than Spider-Man 2, so it's not going to take as long to develop, but I still say targeting late 2024 is the absolute earliest it could launch. Holiday 2024, in my opinion, it, I mean, it would drop in October or November of next year, but I wouldn't be shocked at all if it gets pushed back to the first half of 2025 so Sony can make sure it's polished. Then again, 2024 is looking pretty dry right now with first party PlayStation games, so maybe they need it. Hopefully this all means we get a new trailer soon and possibly even a look at gameplay later this year or early next. The Game Awards, right around the corner. Perfect place to show it off if they have anything to show off. We'll see. Now, assuming Sony is planning on doing another February showcase in 2024 like they did last year, I would fully expect to see this game be their big showstopper. I would. If it's not ready for release next year, I hope they give Insomniac the extra time and resources they need to do this character justice. Spider-Man 2 got some heat for a number of bugs and glitches on launch day, I mean, that game was in work for three years. And a wise man once said a rush game is bad forever, but a delayed game is eventually good. I don't know who that wise man was, but sure. I just hope that's the approach they take. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon.